Hi guys, welcome to Positano, the Amalfi Coast. It's our only day here and we're walking around and the weather is like freaking hot. I'm sweating like a cow. I'm gonna show you all the prices, inside tips and everything that you need to know. Come with me. And most importantly, see if it was worth our money. In this video, you will see what can you do in the city, how expensive it is, what can you do for free, and most importantly, in the end, we'll have a review with Ben. Was it worth our time and money? How amazing is this view? Just look at it. Oh, damn. Can we just take a second and admire this beauty? Let's admire. Before getting into the video, I have very important news for you guys. I'm finally announcing my giveaway and I'm giving you the chance of winning all this. All this tasty, delicious... It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So you have the chance of winning it before I break it. All this super delicious food and treats from Greece and Italy that I especially went and picked for you and these are also my personal favorite. As you can imagine, this is not a sponsored giveaway and I have paid, chosen and brought back to London all of the things that you see in here. First of all, for, for the ones that are over 18, we have a typical Italian limoncello, a Greek cuzzo, Greek chocolate and also chocolate with oranges, Greek halva, halloumi cheese from Cyprus, feta cheese, Italian sweets, chocolate from Venki. This is an assorted collection and honestly, it's my favorite. Greek olives, which are also with lemon and wild herbs. And we have taralli, which are my all-time favorite thing to have when I'm having wine. Italian biscuits. All you need to do is click on this link it will also be linked in the description down below and there you have to leave your email address and also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram and after that you will automatically participate in my giveaway don't forget to send this to your friends and family or anyone that you think might be interested of winning because you also increase your chances i will actually be picking the winner as soon as we hit 500 subscribers if I hit them tomorrow I will pick the winner tomorrow and send you the things directly but if it's the 17th of September and we are still less than 500 subscribers then I will just pick a winner randomly you can find all the information and details about the giveaway in the description here in my video and also in the link I have really put a lot of thought and effort into this so I hope you appreciate it Early in the morning, around 10 a.m., we took a boat from Sorrento to go directly to Positano. It took us around one hour to get there, but it didn't even matter, because we could admire this super beautiful seaside and we also saw Capri Island. We arrived there around 11 a.m. and we had the whole day ahead of us to explore this vertical town. We just arrived! been here for like half an hour and we keep taking pictures <laughs> yes and all we've been doing is filming because it's just too pretty and too cute or you can just walk around those beautiful streets because a legend says that Positano never fails to seduce and they're so true just look around it's so beautiful and we have free art on the street a curious fact for anyone interested in history is that in the 18th century, Positano had a great period of prosperity as a major port and trading hub. However, after the unification of Italy, there were new roads of commerce and the importance of the town started to decline and a couple of centuries after that, it was no more than just a small fishing village. Or also look at those plates. I honestly love them and they look handmade and they're just left like that this one as you can see it's 110 euros it's super beautiful but wow. yeah a bit pricey and this one is a and this one is a and as you can see we're going strong with the lemons and now 
let's see what they're actually the prices. How is it? I like. Honestly, this is one of the best things in Italy. In total, we spent 5 euros and the cream coffee was 3 euros 50 and the espresso was only 150. And here we have an amazing, incredible water. It costs 3 euros. It's basically like 50 cents per sip. By the time you drink it, it evaporates already. I'm sweating like a cow. For day trip, fine. Too long, you'll die. And guys, of course, I chose a restaurant which is the other way on the hill and then we been down the hill so the time like 20 minutes so it's actually more like 40. Oh and just to let you know this place is slightly more expensive than the other ones but it has an amazing view so hopefully it's gonna be worth it. And this is the view from the restaurant and we got this on the house. It's like kind of a fried pizza and then on top there's like tomato sauce and uh, cheese oh. oh my god look at that wow how is it going here? no i fucked it i fucked it i fucked it i fucked it really bad and now we're gonna see the fish are we? yeah Basically with Ben we always have discussions because I'm full like after one dish and he always wants to like order 10 things so I'm like always the one trying to stop him. Here we have an orata with some cherry tomatoes, veggies, peppers, crujet, mixed veggies. We spent 72 euros for two mains, one second course water and I think overall it was worth it. Everything was delicious. We went to Mirage. Nice and place. it was so so beautiful i really recommend it just for the view also the food was really good mm -hmm. but just for like for the view it's worth going and i think it was maybe just a little bit more expensive compared to the other places but it was definitely, definitely worth, worth it. it yeah we came all the way down to the beach and i actually wanted to show you how is the beach because honestly i think it's a little bit disappointing there is like so little space of public beach i don't know if you can see it it's like only a little bit of space over there and then starts the private one but also another disappointment they said that you have to book it in advance first line here costs 25 euro per person and if you're on the second road then it's 2250 and you have to pay even for the shower yeah hi guys i'm the shower expert and i just want to say that the hot shower is 1 euro 50 however if you're brave enough to take a cold shower it's only 50 cents so you save one euro and this is the public beach and as you can see it's like super crowded so to be honest with you i don't think i'm really suggesting you to come here also as you can see the sand is not the best and these are all the things that you can do for free you can watch this beautiful seaside all for free or if you don't have the budget for it you can just go window shopping for ceramics and still learn so many things and enjoy their beauty all for free you can swim in the sea all for free you can learn everything about limoncello and learn how to make it how is it going it's going pretty well um, um, this is my first one he has done five but it's okay. Or you can talk to locals all for free. Or you can enjoy street art in every corner. Honest review. Do you think Positano was worth our time and money? Well, overall, I think Positano was definitely like worth our time and our money. I'll give it an 8.5 slash 9 out of 10. However, huge disclaimer. This year was not as touristy as all the other years for obvious reasons. Don't go there for more than a couple of days. I think like for day trip maximum weekend, you know, it's fine. Too long, you'll die. Rise and don't go to the beach. Up the hills, you know, up and down. Take some pictures and you're done. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to take part of my super tasty giveaway full of treats from Italy and Greece. Thank you all for watching. Love you loads. Bye. Bye.